Yo, guys, one of my favorite things about gaming is speedrunning. I think it's so cool to see my favorite games of all time get demolished by people who spend thousands of hours working on precise movements and glitches. Sadly, Rocket League is not a great game for speedrunning, but I decided to change that. I created a training pack consisting of nine ridiculous shots and sent out the official challenge to my subscribers, stating the rules, the prize of 10,000 credits, and the crucial tip that you should use the Octane. And this is because each of the nine shots have a little secret to them, which will drastically speed up the time it takes to complete the training pack. First, I established my time of one minute, six seconds, and told my 600,000 plus subscribers to try and beat me, thinking that only the creator of the training pack would know its secrets. And many people sent me their attempts trying to prove me wrong. Oh, and speaking of speedruns, let's see how fast it takes for this kid to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, let's see what this training pack is all about. Shot one is simple and without the trick, you'll be missing out on the quickest way to get it into the goal. Shot two can be done in a few ways, but there is definitely a very quick way to do it. Shot three is the first killer on time if you don't know what you're doing. Shot four is tricky and only the best players will figure out the best way to do this. Shot five is actually pretty sick. I didn't know you could spawn the car up against the wall and have it spin like this, but how cool is that? Shot six starts with the ball outside of the map. Shot seven will be tricky to maximize its time, but the trick can help that a lot. Shot eight has some quirks too, but maybe this will mess up some people. Shot nine is where the lower ranks might struggle. And looking at some of the comments on the community post where I put the challenge, it looks like some people are already stuck on some of these shots. So this is gonna get good. Oh, and before we look at some attempts, I wanted to make sure that you guys know that Bacchus mod could not be used for this at all and that the run is now on the official speedrunning website for all games and has its own category for Rocket League. This means that if you wanted to, after this video, you could go and try to get first place on this training pack. And I've definitely underestimated how many people were going to be this competitive and really want that first place spot. But let's start out with Cole Bro, who was the first person to send me their attempt. And maybe he rushed a little because he wanted that 10,000 credit prize because I don't really think he read the full rules stating that you can't reset during the nine shots and you can't use Bacchus mod. So his first shot is shot three because he has randomized shot order enabled in Bacchus mod and maybe he didn't even notice that this is a challenge about getting the fastest time because all of these resets count towards his total time and this is definitely not the way the shot is supposed to be done. This is not part of the trick. That is not part of, that is not part of the trick. Uh, if he gets it in stop it get some help how you that is not how you oh there you go okay he kind of he kind of got it somehow he, here's number nine this is number seven for him or eight for him but this is number nine and it's super tricky there is a there is a way to make this go in like extremely fast but cold bro unfortunately is not figuring it out and honestly he didn't figure out any of the shots so luckily the two minute and 30 second that he ended up finishing with was pretty far off of a minute and six seconds so if the attempts are going to be like this i think my time of one minute and six seconds is probably going to be fine but then this guy showed up purple rl who on the first shot already figured out that all you have to do is drive straight forward that's not good so this next shot Unlike Cole Bro, he figured out all you have to do is simply lightly tap A and the ball goes in. The third shot was about the same. You just kind of have to flip into it. I actually had it intended a slightly different way where you had to like side flip with arrow left. But impressively on shot four, he figures out you have to back flip and then flip cancel and the ball goes pretty much straight in the net. And at this point, I'm freaking out because I think my time is probably going to be beat. That shot right there, you just have to be patient and the ball just kind of goes in. I can't believe he figured this one out. I mean, maybe it's super easy, but all you have to do is press A after a specific amount of time. And then this shot right here, all he did was hold the A button and that is the exact way to make it go in. This next shot, it's kind of simple, but you just move your car wheels. Like you don't drive or boost or anything. I thought that would be tricky, but obviously not. And then this final shot, luckily for my time, he doesn't figure out exactly what to do. He does score it and he finishes around a minute and 13 seconds. And honestly, I'm feeling kind of like an idiot because I only attempted my own training pack like two or three times and I didn't quite maximize everything fully. And at this point, I'm a little worried because I'm only seven seconds ahead of this guy who did it pretty slow in the last shot. And I'm pretty sure he was a little bit slow on just a few of the shots. And I think my time is going to be beat.
The challenge was only going to be live for about 48 hours or so, and after just 10 hours in, someone messaged me with their attempt, a guy named Rainbow, and he flew through my training pack no problem. He did everything I intended, making every shot go in pretty much at max speed, and by the end of it all, his final time was 1 minute 6 seconds and 19 milliseconds. Não sei se foi velho. Eu não sei. Eu não sei se foi velho. Making him the very first person to beat my time, but something was wrong. If you look at my challenge post, I wrote first to beat my time of one minute six seconds or the best time since I don't think anyone can beat me. That sounds a little bit confusing. Am I gonna give this 10,000 credit prize to the first person to beat my time or to the best time by the end of the deadline? Well, I decided I'm going to do both because I completely underestimated how much effort people were going to place into this. I mean, look at Heptics, one of my staff on Discord. He created a cheat sheet that he placed on his second monitor so that he could reference it for every shot. That's dedication at its max. And this entire challenge has shown me that Rocket League players are dying to find something new to do on Rocket League. Oh my god. And speedrunning this training pack that I made is something new. And looking at this leaderboard, it's clear that people were competing against each other for that number one spot, including this guy, Illuminous. Illuminous was working hard behind the scenes for a large portion of the 48 hour challenge window. He never submitted a run that was below my initial time and decided to wait 10 minutes before the deadline to end to finally email his submission. Now I'm sure he did that on purpose so no one would have time to challenge his attempt. And luckily for him, there is no other Illuminati behind the scenes trying to do the same thing he was. But let's take a look at his run because honestly he did everything so well and so smooth and so fast and I had no idea that someone could shave five more seconds off this training pack. I mean everything he does so far has been with ball cam off too. Like I think he's just making a mockery of me. He never turns on ball cam during any of these shots. He expertly hits everything into the net. That one you just have to wait. Maybe there's extra time you can save but I don't think so. I mean, just look at this guy. What a complete badass, just never moving on the ball cam. And this final shot, I honestly had no idea you could shoot it into net straight from the wall. So he totally saved more time than I would. One minute, one second, 357 milliseconds. Easily crushed my time, easily took the number one spot. Illuminous, you are a absolute madman. Tell them to bring me my money. Oh man, that is amazing. Illuminous, you'll be getting some of that prize since you have the number one spot and because of how unspecific my wording is on the challenge. And honestly, just because of how much effort you put into doing this training pack and getting that number one spot. But I'm genuinely curious to find out if anyone else thinks they can take down Illuminous's time on the leaderboards. The training pack is found in the description, so give it a try. Oh, and while you're down there, make sure to like the video real quick and subscribe because I've got some more challenges coming your way that you don't want to miss. Later!